Hello everyone. Welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about solving word problems involving measurements of surface area. Let's read and understand the problem. My mother is wrapping a present. The box she is using is a rectangular prism with a length of 20 inches, a width of 10 inches, and a height of 5 inches. How many square inches of wrapping paper she needs to wrap the entire box? How we're going to solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We're going to use the four-step plan. What is the first step? Fantastic! The first step is we're going to understand the problem. What are the things that we should know? We should know what is asked. In this problem, it is asking for the number of square inches of wrapping paper she needs to wrap the entire box. What are the given facts? The given facts are 20 inches, the length, 10 inches, the width, and 5 inches, the height. Very good! We already understand the problem. What is the next step? Alright, the next step is we're going to make a plan. What strategy do we use to solve the problem? What do you think? How are we going to solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We're going to solve for the surface area of a rectangular prism. What is the formula how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism? Alright, the formula is surface area of a rectangular prism is equal to 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH where L is the length, W is the width, and H is the height. We have already a plan. What is the next step? Yes, you are right. The next step is we're going to solve the problem. So, we're going to use the formula. SA is equal to 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. So, let's substitute the value of our length, width, and height. So, 2 times 20 inches times 10 inches plus 2 times 20 inches times 5 inches plus 2 times 10 inches times 5 inches. So, let's solve. 20 inches times 10 inches is equal to 200 inches times 2 is equal to 400 inches square plus 20 inches times 5 inches is equal to 100 inches square times 2 is equal to 200 inches square plus 10 inches times 5 inches is equal to 50 inches square times 2 is equal to 100 inches square. So let's add 400 inches square plus 200 inches square plus 100 inches square is equal to 700 inches square. This is the surface area of a rectangular prism. Therefore, my mother will use 700 inches square of wrapping paper to wrap the entire box. Alright, we have already an answer to our problem. What is the last step? Yes, you are right. The last step is we're going to check. How we're going to check? This is one way to check our answer. We can go back to our computation. Check 
if the given dimension is properly substituted to the formula. Check also the flow of the computation. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.